But you know the problem is they start fucking auto tuning it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Auto tune like, to scream. Sake, we, we, yeah, really. You know, why? You, know you, you know who has? Uh, it's gotta be in key. You know, who, to me, you know who has the best scream in metal and rock and all of it. Uh, James Hetfield. No, a scream man. Scream. Oh, um, hmm. Jeez, that's uh, a good one. I'm just my my personal opinion is Cud from Mudvayne. He's got a good I one. Think he's got the on best one. tape. Sure. Uh, but I've seen him live too. I've seen him live a few times. Still sounds good. Uh, it depends. It depends. Corey Taylor's not too bad either. Corey Taylor sucks balls. No, he doesn't. I'm just kidding. No, he doesn't. Come on, man. I don't, I'm not jump a fan. the fuck up. That's yeah. He doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. I know he His doesn't do it anymore. Anyway, that's what happens. Your voice goes bye bye. Goes bye bye. Oh yeah. God damn. Should have left your mask on, Corey. You yeah. Should have should have not went with the sour the sour that is stoned. <laughs> you know that whole uh wearing a mask thing um we is, talk about it every week is brilliant until it doesn't work anymore oh yeah I yeah guess. and I, yeah. I will say though um out of every band i've ever known ever every everything i've ever seen i've never seen a band blow up as fast and as big as slipknot did because it seemed because yeah. i was getting hit paraders back then yeah as i mentioned before the break yeah um and it seemed like Every single hit parader for like two straight years was nothing but Slipknot. Oh sure, cover. and well, I've you never know, they, seen they, that before. You know they they made a they made a huge. Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't know. I don't know. They made a huge splash whenever the whole MTV wouldn't put out. Uh, what was that video? Wait and bleed. Was it wait and bleed? I thought it was a different one because I had seen a different video. I thought it was for Spit It Out that got them. Like, eh. why would why would they even try it with Spit Spit It Out? I don't know, but I, I don't. I think it was Wait and Bleed. I mean, I'm sure Wait and Bleed was one of the back. I swore I saw another another Slipknot video I'm, I'm, that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Wait and Bleed. Well, no, no, no. Wait and Bleed did get him when they were no, no, I'm saying for some funk. I don't know, some reason. But it's I not even has no cussing in it. It's yeah. not even. Yeah. They not said, even well, as, it's as, just too. It's not even as screamy. <laughs> yeah. As the rest of it. Oh, because, yeah, because they put the. They put like, the, the Spit version. It Out is pretty close to rap. It, I mean, it is rap. Yeah. Really. Well, they were they were concerned with the violent imagery of the video. Get the fuck over yourself. How about the violent imagery of Walking Dead? I'll keep bringing that shit up. Yep. Or I'd say Game of Thrones, but that's on HBO. At least Walking Dead's yep. on t- cable AMC. TV. All right, let's do this top ten. I don't want to. We're going to. Because it's, yeah. It was, like I said, this list was easy. The hardest part about this list was putting uh, it in order. Putting it in order for me. Because they all could be number one. You know what? Every you know last funny? one of my no, number listen, one. I, I really thought about <laughs> making my number one just a band. Every song they've ever done. Yeah, uh, so did I. Um, I had probably a different band than and mine. But. It, it, we probably, but mine pretty much is. The reason why it's number one is because it's this band, and everything they've ever done just makes me want to fucking jab my... Well, you know what? I'm, you're going to learn some things about me today, that some of the bands that are probably on your list, you I them. actually like them. You love them. All, all right, right, let's, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, so right. I'm going to start this list off yep. with uh, Metallica. Oh, jeez. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Uh, yeah, actually, was it uh, Poor Twisted Me? That would be 1996. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. No, it's all within my hands. All within my hands. Uh, you that can would just be pick two, that, that album. That would be 2003. Yeah. Uh, the reason I picked that one is because of this. Cow, 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 cow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that right there just, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I understood, I understood what they were going for. They didn't do it. But they failed. It's a very bad. I, it's like I tried to pick a song uh, off of that seat, just one, one of the songs. And I was going to go with Frantic. Because that was at least Brand, a hit. Tick, 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 because that's tock. fucking retarded. <laughs> and uh, and I can still remember uh, MTV Icon. Yep. Right before St. Anger was released. Yep. And they were doing their thing. And they're like, oh, well, that's good because we ain't done yet. And then they played Frantic like, uh, like it was such a great thing. And I remember you know, listening here's to that the thing. song then. Live, those songs live Frantic sound still good. Sucks. It, I don't like the lyrics. I don't like the lyrics of many of. But that was the, the, the best lyrics James Hetfield ever wrote. Says Phil. Dr. Phil. Jesus fucking Christ. Says James himself. I know. James is, damn it. I know. James well, what do you know? What do you know, sir? James is just, dude, what do you know about your lyrics, man? <laughs> you were fucking... <laughs> yeah, Go back to snorting coke and shoot. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, we, we like you better we now. We like you better now that you're sober. Or do we? Maybe know. it was all because of the non-soberness that they wrote such greatness. Maybe I don't know. that's what happened. Maybe. It's like, look, you know what? I know you <laughs> love your family and all, but fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your family. Just do what Fuck you got. Just do what you got to do, man. Caster and Francesca and whatever the other ones are called. <laughs> those, those other little hats. Yeah, yeah, all the hats. Fuck them. No. Fuck the hats. Oh, just, 
Please just, don't just don't isolate kidding. that. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, my so, number yeah. ten. My number ten. Yep. Uh, in the end, Lincoln Park. I actually like that song. Oh God. Sorry. You're the reason why I don't like that song is because everybody fucking plays that. You song. don't like it because oh, it was overplayed. It was so. And I don't like it because I don't like Lincoln Park. I do like Lincoln Park. I don't. And then yeah. that new, the newest album that pissed off all their fans. What did they do? I, don't even I know. guess they put out a pop album. It was like a legitimate pop all of album. Their shit was pretty poppy. No, 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 no. This is like 1980s pop, from what I hear. I mean, I like, haven't listened to it because I don't fucking like them. Well, because like that uh, hybrid theory had. A good mix of like everything. It had it had your little bit of rap, but like the good type of rap. Because like the type of rap I like, I like the I don't even Sorry know how to classify people. it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I, teasing you. <laughs> I like I like the rap from like the 80s, the 90s, like the the yeah the yeah slow the storytelling down, and right the, the slow right, down right. rap. Like like one of my favorite rap songs of all time is um, now I forgot that. It's Warren G. Um, yep. Regulator. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I love that. Song. Yeah, yeah, I love that song. Um, that's probably my favorite rap song, but that's yeah. the kind of rap I like because sure. to, to me that was music. Today's rap's not no, it's not music. not at all. But uh, anyway, what I was saying about that was yeah. hybrid theory kind of mixed all of that together. The, yeah, from what I understand, like they went hybrid theory on steroids with the lighter stuff. Hmm. Yeah, because they did screaming and stuff on hybrid theory. They did like, right. so they mixed everything. That's why I like Lincoln Park because they they successfully, in my eyes, mixed a bunch of shit See, together. Chester the molester's voice is like nails on a chalkboard you to mean, me. Cry! Oh God, that that could have made the list too. Uh, you know, Both, you know what? Those, those songs are interchangeable. Listen, for because me. of because I'm a fan of Avenged Sevenfold, I can get over the lead singer. I mean, it's, it's that simple. So you know what? For the for the most part, I can do that. I can tune out a singer, but he, I, there's some that I just cannot do it. I don't think there's a band out there that I just can't listen to the lead singer. Uh, well, I mean, hmm. so I used Same. to not I used to not like Rush because of Geddy Lee. I don't like his voice. Um, but then I was able to get past that and listen to the musical. I actually don't have anything. I don't actually don't have yeah, as I've grown up, it's it's not the worst she voice. Has a, she has a very nice voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway. Uh, yeah, but Come on. How many people thought that was a girl the first time? Oh, I'm watched? sure. I'm sure they did. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, Speaking of that, just yeah. like the uh, before he died, R.I.P., the drummer of the original drummer of Avengers Unfold, he used to be the backup singer. Yeah. And when he sang, it was it reminded me kind of Rush. It sounded like a, he sounded yeah. like a girl singing. Like a woman. Yeah. He sounded like women. All right. What's your number? Like girl. Number nine. My number nine is Nine Inch Nails. Oh, really? Capital G. Capital G. So bad I forgot it existed yeah. until I saw it. Oh, I forget how that started. I don't even care. I, haven't, yeah. I, I don't care. Yeah. Because I loved Nine Inch Nails prior to that. I don't know the what fragile, happened. Fragile to, downwards. Yeah. Um, everything after that, I think Trent was just trying to push it. I think so. I think he just needed to make a record to make some money or, or like close that, out his like deal. That, or that Ghost CD, which like none of the tracks had a song. It was just like one, two, three, four, whatever. Yeah. None of them actually had a song, and it was just and there was no no lyrics. It was just music, and it wasn't. He's trying to trance, I guess, and I, I get it. That's you know a big part of his sound is the whole trance thing. But that's but not Nine Inch Nails. If you want to do that? Start a side project. Start, yeah. Right. I agree. I agree. Um. Yeah. Good old Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. I do love Nine Inch Nails, though. I really do. I, some of it. They were ahead of their time, some I think. Some of Nine Inch Nails. No, they were... They were like sin? Sin's the It's not necessarily they were ahead of their time. They just... They had an audience. They already had a built-in audience is that the uh, the mainstream was behind in picking up on the popularity of Nine Inch Nails. A lot of bands are like that. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Is that true? Yes, it is. You're a Nine Inch Nails historian? No, I'm not a Nine Inch Nails historian. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I also think it's it's yeah. really cool that he does all the music himself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's he's a talented motherfucker. He is talented, very talented. He is the nine inch of the nails. Well, he is. Yeah. So you're number nine. Bring me to life, Evanescence, two thousand and three. Right, I gotta tell you a joke, or not a joke. It's something funny about that song. Yep. So I actually like that song. It's on my phone. I can't obviously. stand it. I like Evanescence, even I though a lot of people hate her voice. I like her voice. Eh. Um, my Immortal is a beautiful song to me, even though I'm a man and I'm not supposed to have a heart or emotion. <laughs> I actually really like that song. Okay. Uh-huh. However. When that song or Bring Me to Life comes on at work. You fucking stop what you're doing. No, no, no. Stroke no. your dick and no. sing along, don't you? No, no, no. Uh, you like that no. fucking guy in that uh, video and thinks he can sing the songs, but so, he can't. Uh, that's funny. But that's not me. <laughs> or is it? Um, but uh, Princess Jasmine, she uh, she hates both of those Are songs. Are we allowed to use her name now? Not yet. Uh, for uh, other reasons, I'll tell you later. Um, okay. Anyway, so she hates those songs, right? Evanescence? Yeah, both of, both of those two songs when they come Good. on. And uh, every time they come on, I just look over at her, and she and she's like, anger face. <laughs> I like this girl already. Anger face. I like her already. No, you don't. 
her her favorite singer is like Luke Bryan or some shit. Okay, well she doesn't like rock at all. If it has a guitar in it, she it's annoying. Uh, Luke Bryan. You know, not you. You know what I mean. Yeah, Look, okay, that. country is not. That's not real guitar. That's like twang. I, I don't know, man. There's that's some players. Twang. There's some players in that that's country. Twang. country. There yeah, are but, some players. But, yeah, but it's it's. You know what I'm saying. Chet Atkins. There's a difference. Well, he's dead now, but still. There's a difference. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's a difference. Anyway, what's your number seven? No, you were saying eight. Yeah, what well, you were saying about uh, Evanescence that you just like. I was like, saying. I was. You saying, like fucking with the listen, Magic Carpet ride. Listen, I was saying. <laughs> wake me up. Oh God. That's all I was saying. I just want to punch that dude in the face. Why? Because he has like two lines. No, because they suck. Because that whole band is gar. It's just awful. Everything about it is awful. I, I, I remember when I they tend were to disagree. Didn't they win like I, best goth album or goth artist of the year or I some think, shit like that? And I, I think, think, are you fucking yeah. kidding me? You motherfuckers don't know what goth is. I think that whole album, the album Fallen that we were talking about. I yeah. think that whole album. I like it. Yeah, whatever. She sucks. Okay, good for you. Number yeah, eight. She does. <laughs> just ask Sean Morgan from South Africa. Uh, South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. My, my number eight. Uh huh. Dave Matthews Band. Down. The Space Between. Down, down, down. 2001. Down. And the only reason I didn't pick anything else is because it was, it was pre 2000. Yeah. But I'm sorry, Dave, but fuck you. I like Dave Matthews. I hate Dave Matthews Band. I like band. Dave Matthews Band. His band was better than he is. Shit. But, you know, lyrically. Look at my face right now. Does my face convey how much I don't like Dave Matthews Band? No. Oh, I think it does. <laughs> Why don't you like Dave Matthews Band? Because it sounds like I should be sucking a dick while I'm listening to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's talking about banging girls and shit. And you're all I don't give a shit. It's, yeah. it's gay music. If you're a it lesbian. legally marries dudes. If you're a lesbian. I am a lesbian. Well, then you should be down with the Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> down with the DC talk. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Down with the DC <laughs> talk. Yeah, 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 I had that album. It's one of those I, fucking I, records. I still do, album. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Freak Show. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go home and listen to that now. <laughs> I haven't heard DC talking for fucking ever. I haven't heard that shit since Dude. I was like fucking Jesus 10. freak. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, the funny thing about it is everybody thought it was a black dude doing the rapping. It's not. Okay. It's the white dude. Just like it's a black dude uh, singing in this band called Seven Dust. No, no, no. I get it. I get <laughs> it. I just thought it was Because this is, this again, this is Christian music. Yeah. Right, so we all know that you want to find the yeah, biggest black group. Black people aren't Christians. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want to find the <laughs> biggest group of races in the fucking planet, look at Christians. I, don't, I, I can argue that. Yeah, you can, but not successfully. Especially we're not in the not, fucking... We're just not going to argue right now. Especially not in the 90s. <sighs> look, look, either you're down with the DC talk or you're not. All right? <laughs> all right, anyway. Christ. Why don't you like Dave Matthews, man? I'm just kidding, because you're a lesbian. What's your fucking number, Ocho? It's been a while. Since I, I knew that was gonna be on your list. I knew that was gonna be on your list. Shit stained. I can't fucking stand that band. I like stained. I can't. Once stand. again, Aaron Lewis can go. F- you know what? He mother. I do not advocate for suicide, so I don't want anybody to to hurt themselves. But in if any you way. but if you slip and fall on a razor blade, but Aaron Lewis, <laughs> if you were to slip and fall and your head just kind of came off your body, <laughs> no, please don't get hurt. Please don't take it. No, I just can't. If look, you, look, listen. Aaron Lewis, here's the thing. I don't want you to get hurt. I just want you to stop singing ev- listen. or trying to sing. I saw I saw Stained live once, okay, and uh, they Mike actually Mike Mashock. 